Hi, I'm Erica, and I'm here today to show you how to use the free downloadable embroidery with our Go Gnome die. Now the embroidery will give you three stitches to choose from, a satin stitch, a blanket stitch, and a motif stitch. So your first step would be to download the embroidery from AccuQuilt.com. Be sure you're logged into your account before you get started. Now, once you've downloaded the embroidery in the format that you need, you want to go ahead and put that on your flash drive so you're ready to take it to your embroidery machine. If you've got any questions on the format that you need for your embroidery machine, you can check your manual or check with your local machine dealer. Now your next step would be to go ahead and fuse your fabric and cut out your shapes. We've already got ours cut out here and ready to go. I've got my stabilizer and my background fabric in my hoop, so we're ready to get started. Now the first thing the embroidery stitch will do is stitch out a placement stitch. And that's so you can start building your gnome and you know exactly where to set the pieces. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first placement stitch. So now we've got our first pieces to place. Those are going to be our gnome's feet. So we've already got them cut out. Now I'm going to go ahead and place them and you can see they'll fit right inside and on top of those placement stitches. And then I'm going to tack them down really quickly with my little shovel iron here. Now the reason I do that is to make sure I don't have any slippage and I get good coverage. And I've just got little pieces here. I'm going to leave it on my machine. You want to use kind of a light touch. You don't want to melt your machine. If there's any worries, you can go ahead, slip your hoop off, tack those down, and then put your hoop back in place. We're going to go back over and we're going to keep building our gnome. We're starting with the feet again. Now it's going to go back give us a tack down stitch and then our motif stitch on top of that. So now we're going to keep building our gnome by putting down our next placement stitch. Now I had ironed my fusible onto my fabric before I cut it out. I'm just going to peel my paper off real quick. Again, that placement line is going to show me just exactly where to place my shape. And I'm going to go over the edges real lightly with my shovel iron. And we're back to the machine. Okay, so we've got our decorative stitch down around the body. And again, you'll see that it stops here and here. That part is going to be covered up above by the beard. So that's going to be our next step. So now we're ready to go ahead and place the beard. I'm just going to leave it in place. And our placement stitch is going to show us just exactly where to place our beard. Okay, we're almost done. We've got two more placement stitches left. Okay, time for a hat. And we're almost done. And you can see this is just perfectly aligned. 
You're gonna get a great finished project. Okay, our last little piece here. Peel the paper off and stick the little gnome's nose on. I think we can do this right here in the hoop. Center that right there with those placement lines. Give it a quick tack down and we're almost done. So our cute little gnome is all embroidered and ready to go into your project, whether that's a quilt or whatever it might be. The combination of the die and the machine embroidery is going to give you a great finished look in no time. Well, remember, here at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you can quilt and embroider more.